Okay, guys, we are at Southern Made Donuts. That is the original, very, very old sign that's been there forever. No donuts. Come this way. Um, this is the interstate, of course, which he didn't take that way to get in. This is the uh, Southern Maine Donuts sign. So, this is the old building that Elvis would eat his donuts at and did a uh, Jingle Bells radio commercial for. <coughs> he did commercials for them. This is how old it is. And this is right across from the Louisiana State Fairgrounds where I showed you guys. All of this shit. Hold on. I'm going to walk around. Sorry guys. I'm just like, oh, look at this sign. Hot Southern Made Donuts. Oh, no, just hot donuts for your daily. You guys, we are here. I see some pictures on the wall. Look you guys. Oh, look at all this. Look, you guys, this is the <clears throat> actual Southern Maine Donuts. These are the pictures they have put up. Here is Elvis performing. <laughs> you know, that original picture right there. I think these are all the people that have came in and eaten here, actually. So... Oh, and look, this is what it looked like. Let me see if I can zoom in. That's what it looked like. When he first started. And that's the picture that I was talking about on my one video because he was promoting Southern Ray Donuts. all of this. Who's that, guys? Who's that? Look at, <laughs> look at this picture. You know there was somebody famous up here and then it's like, oh look, I, yeah. He's in it. Um, my selfie sticks in the car. Out. So they're all the people that performed on the, the Louisiana Hayride. And this is back, right back then. Look at the elephant. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna. You know, just because this is an Elvis video, but you know who would have liked that elephant. <laughs> I'm not gonna say. There's another elephant. But yeah, and I'll say why the elephants are here is because um, uh, we originally would do a circus here at the fairgrounds. Isn't that neat? shown above was recently purchased for consideration of $25,000 around BC Jones for the future home to Southern Maine Donuts, 2700 Braywood Road. While this building is being converted into the center's, the South's finest and most modern donut factory and sales room, we will continue business as usual at our present location. 1922 1924 Texas Avenue. We expect to open at the new location about March 1, 1946, Southern Maine Donuts.
got Jimmy Martin Jr. We've got Tilton Franks, Bruce Jones, Webb Pearson, Frank Page. Below, I can't really make out the autographs to know who that is. Right here we have um, Capital Recording Artist, Ferlin Husky as Simon Crumb. Jim Reeves, Eddie Arnold, Sonny Tround, and this is just like what it looked like back then, you guys. Look at this, check this out. To skittle. Over 200 different dreams, quiz questions, and fortunes. Dreams, what What do your dreams foretell? Quiz questions, what do you know? How many can you answer? Fortunes on love, marriage, finance, home surprises. Questions and answers change frequently. Read directions below. And then it's got the height for the men and women. And the weights that they should be. like put your money in and stand on the scale and like put your money in right here. Push the button, stand on the scale. Over 200 questions and answers. Instructions, turn the knob until a question you want answered appears in the window between red lines, insert point and slot, stand still. <laughs> These are uh, what the Southern Main Donuts boxes look like. There we go, guys. Sorry, it got a little dark. <clears throat> but I seen these pictures and I had to come right here. We'll be out. Look how small it is. This is how small it is. It's literally like maybe not even a hundred feet across from here to there. It's a small southern race on this, but they're, they're pretty small. And it's a <coughs> Coca-Cola machine. But I guess that's the only picture that they have of Elvis on here, which is really upsetting because I was expecting you know, for Elvis to have more because he did radio commercials for them, or a Jingle Bells commercial for them to promote their donuts. So, I would expect that, but look, these are all the other Southern Maine donuts. Oh, I love that song. Huh. And I'm gonna head out of here. I just wanted to show you guys. I mean, this is, I guess this must be when they open. These elephants. I don't know what the elephants are for besides, you know, the circus. Which they used to do at the fairgrounds and hold all that in the arena, but they don't anymore. They now do that in Bowser. We've got a uh, Sunny Tround. Eddie Arnold. Eddie Arnold or CA Victor. So he was on RCA with Elvis too. Isn't that cool? Farron Young. It's a shame that they don't have one autographed by Elvis, you know? 
I can't believe that they don't have an autograph considering he played here so many times. And even came back in like 75, two years before he died. So, I just... Jimmy Martin, Decca recording star, Dave Ackman. I don't know any of these other people except for, you know, um, I've heard of Eddie Arnold, of course. this building is and they do have a drive through now but you know back then everything was like windows and stuff or go inside and it'd be real short but and then it's another sign southern Southern made hot, hot donuts. You guys, Clarence. Ten foot, two inches. You go under that, you're tearing that shit up. <laughs> and like I said, it's right across from um, that street right there that I just went to. That's the street that you go down to get to. It's that donut. What the heck? It's that donut. That's a nut. That's a nut. Oh my god, I can't believe that the one picture that they have of him is, you know, a, a normal picture that you see all the time, and it's not even autographed. A lot of those in there were autographed, some of them, many of them weren't, but a lot of them were, were and I just don't understand why his wouldn't be autographed. Considering he was here, back and forth on the on the fifties, and um, you know, uh, look, oh man, you guys. Okay, so um. I am going to stop this video. I'm going to go to, you know what, you guys? Hold on just a second. I'm gonna pause this video. It's probably gonna stop it, so if it stops it, then I'm gonna have to make two, I'm sorry. Um, after so long, my screen will go off, and I don't think I have the settings set on that, so right now, I forgot to do that. But um, let me pause it and try to drive over there real quick and show you again fairgrounds where he would be coming from okay so yeah guys I don't know why my camera's not letting me turn the screen around it did when I was at the fairgrounds I could um, turn it back and forth from on my front screen but it's not letting me do that now so I oh, this is not I'm getting aggravated but anyways I'm gonna drive over to the state fairgrounds so hold, hold tight real quick you guys Okay, actually guys, what I'm going to do is stop this video, um, so I'm going to make this um, just like part one of Southern Bay Donuts. I'm just going to do this video for Southern Bay Donuts for Elvis. I'm going to stop it, see if I can um, fix my camera issue, and also try to figure out, because it's saying that he ate at the one on Greenwood Road, and Greenwood Road is right down the road, but this is Hearn Avenue, so, and I think... The street next to it is Greenwood. Yeah, the street next to it is Greenwood Road, so this is definitely it. But anyways, I have to stop the video because I have to figure out why my phone is not switching back and forth from selfie to front. Uh, front. Um, I did delete some stuff because I was running out of space again. But stop this video. I'm going to upload it as one and uh, title it under this other maids. So that's it. Okay, you guys, so it said that the original, um, 
So the made donuts that he would eat at was on the corner of Hearn and Greenwood Road. This is where I'm at. I'm on the corner of Hearn and Greenwood Road. But the only issue is, is I cannot find a 1950s picture for where it was exactly, but it did say it was replaced with Willis Knighton Hospital. So right here is Willis Knighton Hospital. And it goes across to right here to the Eye Institution Center. Work care right behind me. But this is the corner of it. And see, I would think that that, that building right there would be it because you can see that it's a drive through like where I was at the other Southern Maids. I would think that that would be where it would originally be and not be replaced by Willis Knighton. So I don't think that that's correct, but I could be wrong. I'm still trying to do my research, but we are on the corner of Hearn and um hold on you guys let me let me lock my car up and grab my purse real quick because I'm gonna walk, walking but I want to say that that building has to be it because it looks like I don't know how long it's been there and I don't I don't really know but it looks like it would be a drive through area like the other one that I did. Hold on, just, I'm sorry guys, the video's all messed up. Anyways, so they say that it's like the corner of Hearn. And I want to say this building would be it, cause I mean, don't you don't you think that looks <laughs> like it would be an entrance for a drive-through and stuff like it, the other one was? We'll walk to the corner of Hearn. I'm gonna plug my phone back up. Let it finish charging. Um. This is, I just don't know, I don't, I don't see how it would be replaced by the hospital right there. If you guys can see that, when I'm zoom in. But that's, that's Willis Knight Medical Center, so that would be the hospital. That's where they're saying that, that, that it was replaced, you know. Um, but for it to be on the corner of Hearn and Greenwood Road in Shreveport, I would have to say that if that is true, then that's where it would have been. Or that's where it would have been. But I honestly want to say that this spot right here is where it would have been. But I could be wrong. To me, that looks like a small building that would be like drive through everything. But all I could find online was um, Southern Bay Donuts, the website, and it said that it's, it was replaced with Willis Knight and Hospital, and it's on the corner of Hearn and Greenwood Road. This is the corner of Hearn and Greenwood Road. Willis Knight and Willis Knight and Eye Institution. Willis Knight Therapy uh, Center, which is actually down that way. But if you can see that street sign, it says Hearn and Greenwood Road. So I can't say for sure where exactly the building would be, but I would think I would think that 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 one would be it for sure. But I mean, not just my opinion because that one looks like it would be an old Southern Made Donut building because that's how they made them look and stuff. But all I know is is at the corner of Hearn and Greenwood Road. I can't find any images. All I see is a bunch of pictures of different old 1950s uh, to, to 1927 
Southern Bay Donuts. So there's not one that exactly says this one's um, the one on Greenwood and Hearn Avenue, you know? And I'm going to continue to do my research and try to find pictures or something like that. Figure out which spot it was, which is why I wanted to record every, you know, every corner because... For that to be Willis Knight Medical Center, it, it would it would have to have been right there if if that's true. You know, it would have to have been right there at the corner, right there. But I on it, and then it, it it walks across the uh, skywalk right there over to the eye institution and um, it could have been right there or it could have been at this building that looks like the other Southern Bay Donuts where there was an entrance two entrances to go through a door and all that so I think <laughs> I think they're the web the website might be incorrect, but this is Southern McDonald's website. I think that I read that on, so it can't be incorrect. So you guys, this is where um, the buildings used it uh, used to be, and it says, and I I will put the picture in there that on um, he was the. Um, it was the only commercial product that he ever did for, which is not true, actually. I guess radio-wise it would be, because he did go on that, you know, the show for the Coca-Cola product, but he wasn't, I don't, I don't know if he really promoted it or not. I can't remember. I have to go back and watch the video if he promoted it or he just went on the show and talked about his stuff to help that guy, you know, to help the guy out. But... This is it. That's supposed to be where it was. But if I, if you can happen to find a 1950s, uh, you know, Southern Bay Donuts building on Greenwood and Hearn Avenue in Shreveport, Louisiana, try to do that for me, because I'm, I'm gonna go home and still continue to look. But it says that, that it's, it's replaced with this building right here. But, I don't know. But I'm going to get off here, guys, and then I'm going to go over to the fairgrounds.